guys, it's Jen here. Welcome to Jen's World About Watercolour. So today I'm going to paint this giraffe for you guys. So let's get painting. Righto, so here we go. Just starting off with a basic outline, uh, keeping it quite simple of this little giraffe. Um, yeah, just doing the outline of her, her face. So she's got quite a triangular shaped head. And now I'm just doing some of the lines that just sort of describe the shape of her face and round her eye. She's got beautiful, big, lovely round eyes. So they're just gorgeous, gorgeous things. Uh, here in Australia, we have, um, they call them ex zoo ex animal experiences. And for my daughter's 18th birthday, we took her to the Melbourne Zoo and she got to feed the giraffes. <laughs> we all got to feed the giraffes, which was a bit cool. So um, yeah, we went into their enclosure into a special area in their enclosure and they all came up to us and we hand fed them it was just glorious <laughs> so they're absolutely beautiful things adore giraffes and they're so gentle they're so large but they're so kind so yeah so now i'm just drawing in her patches i'm not worrying about where they are in the photograph i'm just literally making them up as i go trying to keep them sort of symmetrical um one above the other and take him in the general shape of her body. So no fuss there, just really simple, just sticking him in any old wear, really. So one there, one there, one there, and then I'll pop them on the top, sort of roughly opposite each other. Sort of like a jigsaw fitting them in, like that. They don't quite go to the top of her neck where her mane is, so I don't quite take them up there. And I'm gonna just cut a couple of odd shaped ones in, and then add her shoulder. So now I'm getting my little watercolour palette that I've just made up as a travel palette actually. So I've only got a, a limited palette in there. I've got basically just my primaries, split primaries, warms and cools of each. And a couple of greens I threw in there because I like the odd green. But um, yeah, so I'm going to be doing a lot more out in, the, out in the open painting. So I've got this little palette set up so I can take it with me everywhere. And I'm starting with a little yellow ochre, just a thin wash. And just filling in those spots. I'm not going to worry too much about staying in the lines because you'll see later I'm going to sort of blend around the edges of the spots anyway. So it doesn't matter if I go outside of them a bit. It's just giving me a, a general colour so I know exactly where the colour needs to be. So I'm going to go into these now. I've finished them all in yellow ochre. I'm going to go back in, I'll just take that little bit, thin that out a little bit. So I've got it right outside the line there. Um, yeah, I'll put a bit of colour on her face and up into her antlery fuzzy wuzzy things. <laughs> if anyone knows what those little antlers on giraffes' heads are used for, if they have a purpose, I'd love to hear it in the comments below. I'd love to know what their purpose is. Um, yeah, anyway. <laughs> Oh, one bit of trivia I did find out that is really fascinating about giraffe is that the older they get, the darker their spots are. So as you see, if you see a giraffe and it's got pale spots, well, chances are it's a young one. If it's got darker spots, it's an older one. So I guess I'll be painting a middle-aged giraffe. <laughs> anyway, so now I'm adding a little bit of raw sienna in to give her that sort of older giraffe look. But I'm not worrying so much about... Uh, uh, where and like I'm just running it around the patches I'm not being sort of too pedantic and now I'm pop popped a bit of her mane in just to get that in I'll pop some vertical lines in after yeah this is what I mean so see how I'm just I'm wetting the brush putting a heavier bit here and then running it off with a bit of water and letting it spread so that's sort of patchy but I quite like that because yeah the colors aren't all exactly the same all, all across their whole body so yeah, while she's damp, so a bit heavier there, and then I'll run it with a damp brush and let it travel around a little bit, like that. And do that in all her patches. A bit much on the brush down there, but that's okay. I'll just drag it out with a wet brush, or a damp brush rather. And then I went and got some Caput Morton that I didn't need, which was really smart, so I'll just ignore that and go back to my burnt umber. <laughs> so getting to know this palette, I, I had it upside down rather than um, 
yeah, the way I usually have it. So I went for the wrong palette, the wrong um, little pan. So instead of getting burnt umber, I got cap at Morton, but that's okay. I just went to the other one. <laughs> so now I've got my burnt umber and I'm running that around the darker spots of her face. And down around her eye. I've made actually mixed a bit of cobalt blue in there just to make that a bit grayish. So just around her eye and the base of her chin. And now making up a little bit more of that gray for her nose and to define around her eye a little and on her fuzzy wuzzy things. And now I'm gonna do just the shadows in her ear with that same gray and the darkest shadow around the edge of her face like that. Now I'm having to think um, what to do next. So I've done, I'm letting her dry a little bit. I've done basic coat of her patches. She's had two coats on her spots and I've done the shadow around her face. So now I think I'll do, just I'll take the edges of the, like a damp brush and just run it around the edges of her spots and that will just give the color for the base, like a normal coat. So I'm literally just running a damp brush around the edges and picking up a bit of the paint that's on the spots already and that just taking that around and that just fills in very simply where her, her creamier fur is, her lighter coloured fur is. And now I'm doing her eye, I'm doing a bit of burnt umber just around her pupil and now I'll do some little lines like vertical squiggles along her mane like that. I'll go back in later with more detail but just suggesting that there's mane there now. And a bit of um, neutral tint in her nostril and her eyes. I just realized the eye was a tad wet, so I'll have to go back in, smooth that out a fraction after and just change the shape of it slightly, but that's easy fixed. So now, mixing up a bit more gray for the inside of her ear with burnt umber and ultramarine. Just seeing where all their shadows are. So when I'm looking at the photo that I'm using as a reference from Pixabay, I'm squinting. So I can see the darkest darks, you know, the variation in the shadows, in, in, the, in the tones in her coat. So I find it really helpful to squint and I can see where the darkest spots are and the lightest, lightest spots are. So now I'm going in with a thicker mix of burnt umber, just pure burnt umber, just into her, back into her spots. Take that around with a damp brush in a mini. Just doing it in all of her spots. Run some under her neck because there's a bit of little bit of shadow there, but it's very slight. Put into her shoulder. Take a bit of colour onto her ear, just a bit of damp brush. Put a little bit of burn number there and just let it run back up into that watery mix. Now I'll add a bit of grey that I'd mixed earlier out of the burn number ultramarine, just take that down the length of her neck. Around her ears, quite shadowy. Around her face a little bit. I noticed there was some shadow there when I was doing my squint. Now I'm going in with a bit more definition and just adding some vertical lines to her mane just to give the illusion that it's standing upright. With a bit of burnt umber, I think I said. Yeah, a bit of burnt umber. Now just do a bit more detail around her nose. Now I can go back into the eye, it's dried a little bit now. And just reshape it a little bit, going in with my size two. Just They've got very, very dark rims around their eyes and dark, dark eyelashes. They're gorgeous creatures. So I'm just yeah, defining that eye now and I'll take that shape of that pupil out of fraction because it's sort of mucked it up a little bit. Now I'm yeah, doing some lines around her eyes, do some eyelashes in. Now 
I can correct the shape of that pupil. So, oh, after I've added some black, after I've added some neutral tint to her fuzzy wuzzy bits, <laughs> just to darken them right up, put some hair, hair in her ears, do a little bit of texture there. And then I'm going to fix her eye. So, go back in and reshape that pupil, and now I'm much happier with it. Very good. Righto. Looking good. Pop that other eye, just the edge of it, a couple of little eyelashes like that. And just a bit of dark shadow around the chin. Just doing little touch ups here and there. picture on but I've still got a little bit of work to do I'm just going to touch up a couple of these patches just a couple of her spots so just mixing up another color now I thought I was done but I'm not done <laughs> so I better go back and do a bit more so you just start adding a bit more burnt umber so I hope you're enjoying this video and I'd love to share more with you. So if you click like and subscribe, I'd really appreciate it. It really helps my channel. Um, yeah, I'd love to share my work with you. I'm having an awesome time making these videos. So yeah, I shall see you all next time. Enjoy the last bit of the video. Have an awesome day, guys, and thanks again. Bye.